Next. These are also drawings from Gorman. This, when I started learning about this, um, a lot of things started really clicking into place about the different ways in which we're seeking uh, to create alignment through the limbs in, in the yoga practices. Uh, it has to do with the fact that the very uh, development of the limbs in utero happens in a spiraling motion. Okay? The fetal position is created with the conspicuous, conspicuous difference that the elbow points caudally, meaning toward the tail, and the knee cranially, meaning toward the head. This final position is of utmost importance in future functioning. Well, I'll say, I mean, if it were the opposite, we'd really have a problem with our limbs. <laughs> it is achieved by rotation in each limb around its axis, presumably partly due to growth changes before any joints are fully defined. Growth changes there means that if the inner surface of your arm is growing faster than the outer surface as it develops, it's going to spin in that direction. The same is true of the leg. If the outer surface is growing more quickly than the inner surface, it's going to spin this way. And, and here we see that illustrated. Um, incidentally, we all are probably familiar with the horrible effects of uh, the drug thalidomide, right? You've probably seen people or seen photos of people that, that have the sort of stunted limb development. Well, it's exactly at this stage here that the drug was affecting the fetal development, and it stunted it. So have some uh, more photographic type images that, that illustrate this. So these are, these are a progression from here to here to here to here. Okay. And here's one that actually has the arrows drawn in that, that shows the axis of rotation of the arm. And in the arm, the flexor muscles end up on the top, the extensors end up on the bottom. And in the leg, the extensors are reversed. They're on the, they're on the top and the flexors are on the bottom. And that has to do, again, with the limb rotation. And here you can see, this is really you know, just the beginnings of what are going to be the joints. And as the joints develop, they're developing in coordination with the rotation. See? Before there's even an elbow, you have the possibility of an elbow, but it's pointing straight at you in this photo. And as it develops here, it's point, and now it's pointing down. And here, for the knee joint, again, it's pointing straight at you in this photo. As it becomes more defined and developed, it ends up pointing up. And what does that imply? What does it imply in terms of yoga practice? We're going to find out. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to already know. No. Well, we, actually, we do know. We implicitly know. We implicit, at any time you try to support yourself over your feet and legs in a pose and create some stability, the, the, you're, you have to access these spirals. Okay. You have to. That's, that's where this is the source of all these alignment cues that we're constantly being uh, asked to pay attention to. How do you create the lift through the arch of the foot on the one hand, but the grounding through the points of the foot on the other? You know? How do you support your body weight on your hands, arms, and wrists without jamming everything into the wrist? How do you create an arch, in other words, in your hand? These are all spirals. You know, it, it's all about spirals. So. I'm just pointing to the, the, the source of this is that how it's how the limb evolved in the first place. 